here on front. How do you yeah. picture the guy who is a super fun, super stuff rolled into one? To that level, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, You want to sit down? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. That looks nice on you. I have absolutely no idea um, what what's the Saturday Saturday <laughs> we are headed to Augusta um, taking a quick little road trip it's my mother-in-law's well her birthday was the day after Clarence's birthday January 17th um, but we're doing a surprise party now we hold on they are doing a surprise birthday party for her all of her children um, and grandchildren and so yeah um, we're headed down there. I'm waiting on Clarence to get dressed, the kids to dress, blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna hit the road. It normally takes us like two hours, two and a half hours to get there. I got my hair done yesterday. Praise him. And um, I just let it down. So it's just, you know how it does. It needs to like relax. Um, any hoodles, but yeah. Um, I will put in a picture of what I'm wearing. Uh, but I'll tell you guys, the shirt is free people. The shacket is from Nordstrom Thread and Supply. The jeans are Old Navy and I'm wearing my Converse. I'm carrying my Speedy B25. And I did um, put on some makeup today. I really, really did. Something I'm loving, this Gucci blush. Y'all, real chocolate girl friendly, okay? Also got my nails done today. Um... I did grocery shopping yesterday. I haven't really been vlogging a lot of stuff just because my phone's always like on dead. So I'm really, really looking to invest in a camera like sooner rather than later. I've been doing my research. But let me finish getting the kids and everything ready. And when we hit the road, I will get back with you guys. So I made it upstairs so I could show y'all the outfit in its entirety. Cam is mad at me because I won't pick him up. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like all together. I really, really love this top. It's just easy, you know? Um, but yeah.
Okay, y'all. So we're headed to the mall really quick. I'm over here eating potato chips. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, but we're headed to the mall. I need to make a return. Um, Clarence has some stuff he wants to get to. So it's just a Wednesday. We both are off today. Figure we get some stuff done. So thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Clarence is putting gas in the car now. Hope you guys have had a great week and have enjoyed spending the week with us. It was Clarence's birthday this week. His mom's birthday was the very next day. We went and we um, went to Augusta and celebrated her 80th uh, with her. So that was fun. Um, and then over the course of the week, I have purchased things, y'all. That's just how life goes. Um, y'all know I went to Walmart to kind of re-up on some body stuff. It seems like I was running out of my normal stuff left and right so i picked up some of that i also picked up some of the last things in that ulta 21 days of beauty sale so i'll share that with you guys i got a new little pre-loved louis vuitton piece that i'm gonna share with you guys some stuff that i picked up for our home bar downstairs a little re-up from dior just all the things girls so sit back relax enjoy we're gonna finish off the vlog with a little bit of a haul. So the first thing i picked up i actually picked it up uh when i went to pick up clarence's birthday cake this was at kroger and it's a bar tool set and it was actually on sale it was 14.99 but i got it for six bucks comes with the shaker a jigger ice tongs, a stirrer, and a strainer. Perfect for our little bar cart. Um, I'm gonna like revamp it and redo it because I'm trying to get that little den area in some kind of, I don't know, just universal area. My coffee bar is down there. My little home office is down there. My little fitness area is down there and the bar is down there too. So I'm just trying to turn that room into something that's like functional for us and so I thought redoing the bar cart would be nice this was also at Kroger it is I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell it's so heavy but it's a marble cheese tray and it was supposed to be $27.99 and I got it for three dollars yeah so I'm gonna do I don't know something special for valentine's day and i may do like some cheese and crackers and things on here um or maybe even sit it like on our bar area since it's gonna match like the gold that goes to this so yeah nine dollars and i got some stuff for our little bar area as you guys saw earlier in the week i stopped at walmart and i just re-upped on like i said my body care stuff i have one more use of my taraji p henson um baby buffed body exfoliant so i had to pick up another one of these i also am down to my very i say i probably have two more uses left but i cannot be without this and it's the taraji p henson ish condition 
the in shower um body conditioner i really 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 like this so i had to pick up another one of those and then i'm gonna sit down at some point and film my hygiene routine but i cannot live without dial soap it is the very first wash that i do when i get in the shower i'm not using your brana brothers and all of that i don't want that i have to use dial gold antibacterial soap as the first wash i feel like it sanitizes and gets all of the world off of me i don't know it's just how i feel i've been like that since i was a child so i had to pick up some of that as i mentioned last week they were doing their like winter skin event situation and i went ahead and on sunday the 15th they were doing the oc uh body oil the five ounce size of it it comes in two different sizes in a travel version this is like the standard size they have raised the price of this it is now 52 dollars. it was in the sale for half off so they were 26 a piece apparently i've just been buying everything from ulta because i got to the um checkout and i had eight dollars in like ulta bucks so i think i ended up getting these for like 40 dollars 42 dollars uh for the set so i'm good for the year i was going to buy two regardless but i'm so glad i was able to get two of these from dior i just re-upped on my cotton pads so it's crazy because i normally get the chanel ones i went on chanel's website and they were 25 dollars and i looked at chanel like uh uh girl you don't lost your mind i mean wh one day i'm probably gonna do it but when i went to dior's site they were still 20. i said let me just pick up something from dior girl save me five dollars um but they never disappoint with the packaging of course and they put a sample in here that i I already know this is gonna be like my spring scent, so it's on my list to purchase for the spring. Um, of course, I got my little sample pouch. Y'all, I love Dior's packaging. These little pouches are so good for like vacation and traveling and stuff. I got two of the La Prive samples, Eden Rock and Ode Rosewood. And then I used a code, uh, code was welcome, and I got the Dior what is this dior show maximizer 3d uh trial size of their mascara primer so that was nice but what i'm really 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 this right here let me get it to focus eden rock y'all i think sharika b mentioned this a couple months back this is so amazing it smells so divine I am, oh, I'm getting this. This is going to be my like spring, summer scent. Dior kills when it comes to the fragrances, y'all. Like, y'all know I have been wanting to try a Louis Vuitton fragrance for quite some time. Every time I go in there, we went in there today um, when we were in Saks, and there's only one that appeals to me. So I may get that one and just move on from those. But Dior, Oh my God, Dior is killing it. So yeah, and then of course, I just got my cotton uh, squares. But Dior gets it every time for $21, girl. They do you right. Let me share with you this pre-loved beauty that I got and y'all won't believe it. So I finally got my hands on a Trist 23. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. But let me tell you how it happened. Shortly after Christmas, I went on eBay and just the sellers that I like, I went through looking for this item and just kind of favoriting ones that met my criteria that, you know, were in excellent condition. Inside was good. Canvas was good. Zipper was good. And it had the LV zipper. As long as it had that, I was fine. I woke up. Was it? it was a little over a week ago to one of the sellers that i have purchased from before i want to say it's the same seller that sold me the truce 28 telling me that they had a special offer and that i could get this for 153. y'all know how quickly i 
I, it was like six something in the morning, y'all. I was getting ready to get Caden ready for school. Like had just started my coffee maker and I just pulled the trigger. It showed up, whoa, <laughs> it showed up and it was in pristine condition. There is not, and my foundations are in here. That's the indentions that you're seeing. Um, but there's not a flaw on her. The canvas is still vibrant, no rips, no tears. Um, right now I'm just storing all of like my backup makeup. So like foundations that I don't use on an everyday basis, highlighters and blushes that I'm not always wearing. And then all of like my um, lippies, like lipsticks, cause I don't wear lipstick on a regular basis. We have to be like doing something spectacular. Um, but I like my little choice and arrangement of lipsticks. So I keep them like tucked away. So right now that's the use for her. It's just to house all of my like spillover makeup or whatnot. But she is so clean in the inside, you guys. So, so clean. And like I said, no rips, tears to the canvas or anything like that. She's just so, 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 so good. So in the zipper, all I had to do was throw some Vaseline on her. I did clean it with some Brasso, so that's why it has like that, I don't know, like that coloring to it because I had to take Brasso to it because it was very tarnished. But outside of that, y'all, I'm so happy with it. So I am really, really pleased because that was something that I was really big on when I got the luggage, the Roberto Cavalli luggage. I was like, I really want my truce to kind of finish my little Louis Vuitton travel collection. So I'm excited about that. There is one more little travel piece that I want. Um, I think I'm gonna sit down at some point and also fill my wish list. but it's a uh, keep all 45. I feel like that would really round me out when it came to travel um, or luxury travel. Um, yeah, so that was just an amazing deal. It was too good to be true. I had to pull the trigger and I'm so glad that I did. To me, that was like nothing but the Lord working girl, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and the things that I kind of picked up or ordered or showed up throughout the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this week and I will see you guys in another one. Bye.